My name is Rick and in this video we'll be covering how to redirect your domain's email to Gmail for free using a DigitalOcean postfix and a DNS setup. Now you must be asking why in the world would you ever want to do this? Well I had the very same question because Google for Business actually takes care of this email forwarding for you. And it's no problem. I have multiple domains and I go ahead and pay the $5 per domain. No problem, right? Well, it, it, it starts becoming a problem when you start recognizing this pattern. If you have over 10, 20, 30, 80, 100, 200 domain names, and simply you just want to have for each of the domain names a uh, info and sales um, prefix to the domain, um, as you can see that, you know, it starts getting a little bit more expensive with Google if they're just simply forwarding your emails to your domain, uh, to your Gmail account. So uh, in this example, I, I talk about 40 different domain names and if you're paying $5 per domain name, that's about $200 uh, per month. That comes up to a little over $2,400 uh, per year to use Google to do this for you. So I was looking around to try to figure out if there was uh, some different solution to take care of this for me because I don't need all the Google businesses and you know Google apps and Google Calendar for each of the domains. Um, I just need it to forward the email from that domain over to my Gmail account. Pretty simple to do. And I found this program called Postfix. And if you guys are not available, you get, if you guys don't know what Postfix is, it's a mail transfer agent for Ubuntu. And here's some documentation uh, over at uh, helpubuntu.com so you can kind of read over what Postfix is and you know how it works. So uh, after looking at the Postfix uh, documentation to actually set it up, here's the actual setup guide that Ubuntu provides. It was a little bit cryptic on how to figure out how this whole entire thing to work but because first you have to understand how email works. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this diagram I went and created. So for example here, Rick is creating an email and the email is going to be off to sales at intro to hacking.com. This email gets sent off. It goes to the SMTP servers at Yahoo. They figure out what IP address belongs to intro to hacking. The DNS servers then maps that domain name to an IP address that goes over through the internet. It finds the domain name, then the domain name can then be able to identify how to handle that request. So in this example, we're going to be using a MTA, so a mail transfer agent that it's called Postfix. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to forward that email that comes in into that domain name and then forward that off to a uh, specific email. So for the example, it's going to go over to Gmail and then off and then that gets sent off to whatever Gmail account they want that email to be redirected. So in this example, it's going off to email at gmail.com. All right, so now that we know how Postfix works, we need to go ahead and set up uh, GoDaddy and DigitalOcean to be able to make this whole entire thing work. Because as you can see up here in this diagram, we have this uh, MTA Postfix uh, server that doesn't quite yet exist. So the best fastest way in order to get this virtual machine running would be to use DigitalOcean. You can click on this link or you can go to the bottom of this post and click on the $10 USD credit for DigitalOcean. So this will give you two free months of DigitalOcean uh, VM to go ahead and set up. All you have to do is go to the bottom of this post and click on 10 USD credit for DigitalOcean. This will take you over to DigitalOcean and you can go ahead and set up your uh, cloud infrastructure to redeem your $10 uh, referral credit that's um, that's given to you if you use that link below that post. And and if you guys don't know about DigitalOcean, go to their site, learn all about them. But once you have that virtual machine running, we're gonna go and need to adjust the DNS records for that. So let's go ahead over to DigitalOcean and see if we can do that now. Like a panel that looks something like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on DNS. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and enter uh, a domain name uh, that you own to set up with that virtual machine that you created. So we're gonna go here and enter this uh, intro to hacking.com and then we're gonna go ahead and enter the IP address for that virtual machine that we made. We're gonna go ahead and select the, the droplet for that and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create domain. And this is gonna go ahead and create a record for, for that specific domain. And as you can see, it goes ahead and sets up a couple uh, of the name servers for us and the a record at the root 
for this IP address that we went ahead and identified. As you can see, we have this name server here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this name server and I'm gonna go over to GoDaddy and we're gonna go ahead and finish uh, setting this up now. .com, domain name for GoDaddy.com. And this is the administration panel they give you. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on name servers and you wanna click on manage. And more than likely you're gonna have the standard domains that GoDaddy gives you. What you wanna do is you wanna do custom and you want to use ns1digitalocean.com, ns2digitalocean.com, ns3digitalocean.com, uh, and these are coming directly here from this record that we created earlier. And once you have these in there, you want, just want to simply click Save, and you're done with GoDaddy. So that's all the configuration you have to do with GoDaddy. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to DigitalOcean, and we're going to go ahead and add a couple more records here uh, that we need in order for this to work. We're going to need this IP address. We're going to go add a record, and what we want to do is we want to add another record, and we want to call this one mail, and we'll enter that IP address and click Create. And this goes ahead and creates one more record for us. Now we have to create the very last record, which is an MX record, and this is going to be for our domain name. And we're gonna go ahead and set a priority of five. And make sure at the very end you add a period. Great, so that went ahead and finished. Ocean and GoDaddy configuration out the way. We wanna go ahead and SSH into the virtual machine that we created with DigitalOcean. So once you SSH into this machine, what you wanna do is you wanna install PostFix. And since I already have it installed, it's gonna say that I already have it. And what you wanna do is you wanna to touch these two files. So virtual and mailman, mail name files is because we're actually gonna be using them a little bit later on in our config file. Once you touch them, you wanna go ahead and echo out uh, mail at domain.com uh, at Etsy mail name. And if I go into my terminal and I go ahead and vim into that, you're gonna see this is gonna say mail.intro2hacking.com, which is exactly what you would expect it to be in there. Um, so that echo command goes ahead and puts this at the very end of the file. So once you have this, you want what you want to do is you want to go into this Etsy main.cf, and what you want to do in here, um, you want to do a couple things. As you can see, my host name is introtohacking.com. You want to change that line. You also want to go ahead and change uh, this line right here, uh, my destination, introtohacking.com. And you also want to change virtual aliases domain to introtohacking.com. And... That's pretty much all you have to do to this file here. So once you have those two configurations, I provide a, a, a skeleton for you to follow. You just have to go in there and make sure you change those lines, which is line 1, 27, 29, and destination as well. Once you have those um, configured, what you want to do now is you actually want to go ahead and set up the virtual uh, machines where you would like this to get forward. And these can be found at this location here. So if you go into Vim, this location, to go into this file, what you want to do here is you want to say uh, whatever domain name you have set up. So for this example, we have uh, intro to hacking.com and whatever email you want this to be forwarded to. So for example, foo at gmail.com. And once you have this, you want to go ahead and write and quit um, to that file. And here is you have to actually go ahead and tell uh, PostFix about these changes that we went ahead and made to those files. So you, what you want to do is sudo post map Etsy profix virtual. So I'm going to go back in here, paste that into there, and that goes ahead and does its thing. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reload the service. Um, I'm going to go back here, reload this service. This goes ahead and reloads the service. And that's pretty much all the configuration you will need to do with PostFix in order to get it to forward emails from your domain over to Gmail. Um, so now the last remaining part here is to go ahead and test this out and see if it's going to work. Remember, you have to be patient here because the propagation of the DNS could take up to 48 hours. So be patient with that. And mail.org. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to send emails to a specific email address anonymously. And the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to email yourself the same email that bounces back from the same location because you get into this um, uh, case where the email is coming from the same location that it's going. And and Gmail doesn't allow for that. Uh, 
in order to happen so your messages will be getting dropped and the re the way you can find this out if they're getting dropped is if you go here into this log you go less bar log mail dot log you can actually see all the messages that are happening um, between uh, you and the gmail server so that's that's just a, a little reminder there but once you do have this the time goes ahead and 48 hours later, you can go ahead and try it out and see if this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this off to info to intro to hacking.com. I'm not gonna say reply to, I'm gonna say uh, hello world and I'm gonna say hello message. So then I'm gonna go ahead and slide to send and it says your message was sent, click okay. So that's all there is to sending a message. I'm gonna go ahead and check my email now and see if it's there. My inbox that has the message, as you guys can see, no reply at sendmail.org. Hello world is the title. Hello message is the message and the message is right there. And as you guys can see, this went over to the spam box, which is fine. So if you're having trouble receiving email, make sure you check your spam um, to make sure the email is actually there. Uh, so that's pretty much about how to set up a uh, post fix. Um, now, sometimes this doesn't work the very first time, and sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenge to get this whole entire thing to work. So I actually went ahead and provided some help for you guys. So here's some really nice um, handy commands like stopping and starting the service, uh, you know, setting a post map for the right virtual uh, configurations, and most important, looking at those log files. Because if you guys do run into trouble, I want you to go into the log files and start leaking digging through those and trying to understand why your configuration is not working. And this diagram here at the very top should help you on how to navigate uh, how the messages are bouncing between each other's servers. So that's that's all there is to uh, that's all there is to email. Hopefully I saved you some money and I made it less of a headache to deal with uh, uh, your email and hopefully save you some time. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up below. Share it on Twitter. Share it on any of the social media networks. Leave me a comment below if you can't. Uh, if you can't get this to work, maybe somebody else can go ahead and help you try to get all this set up. But most importantly, I want you guys to go ahead and follow me on Twitter because I'm releasing new content all the time. And most importantly, I'm here to make you successful. So until next time, we'll see you.